What is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I am your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great week. I know uh, a little bit of a sour taste in our mouths, and uh, rightfully so. This team definitely let us down right before the bye, but great thing is, it is the bye. So we're hoping that the team, you know, figuring things out from the inside, you know, the coaches, the players, everybody getting on the same page, learning how to tackle, you know, some of the simpler things. But, uh, we also, you know, have some clamoring. We have, you know, all kinds of talk out there that, you know, could the Eagles be possibly trading or signing, whether that be one of their own players or trading away or bringing in someone. A lot of talk about that. So we're going to get into that this weekend. I uh, have a little bit of a show together. It is taking forever to make, but uh, we'll get it out to you. But a little trade and signing special about some of these players that could be available, some of the players that are available and what the Eagles could look to do to improve their team. We've talked about it over and over again, but I know you guys like those shows, so you sickos look out for that. But we need some information first before we can get there. So I'm going to give you that information now. Appreciate you all taking the time, hitting that like button, sharing this stuff, subscribing to the channel. Really can't thank you enough for the support. Obviously not a live video, but still love to hear from you sickos out there. Hope you're having a good one, uh, but let's rock Let's rock and roll. Let's get right into it. It's going to be a quick video, so love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions on this stuff, please feel free to leave a comment down below. But boom, bang, let's take a look at these draft picks first and foremost. So Eagles want to trade for someone, maybe. Maybe they don't want to give up a player. Maybe the other team doesn't want a player. Maybe we try to use some of these draft picks. So you can see we have seven picks in the upcoming draft next year. First, second, third, fourth, and then three-fifths. Then you see in 2026, we added a third round pick. That was the Hassan Reddick trade. So you can see we have eight picks there. So some real good draft capital right there. Having three third round picks, you've got four fifth round picks. So the Eagles could definitely, you know, wheel and deal. And they're always looking to wheel and deal with Howie Roseman at the helm. So look, those are like gold to him, but he will use them if he has to. We traded for John Dawson. Um, and look, man. He's supposed to be a third receiver. I think once he gets the system down, it'll be better. But uh, he's definitely not the number one guy. And this offense is definitely predicated off of having A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith here. So it is what it is. But you can see those draft picks, uh, they can definitely be used here. So if the Eagles want to trade someone away, they can definitely do that. If they want to use some of their picks, they can do that. Now, the question always is, do they have the money? Is there enough cap space, you know, for them to add someone? So we got to know what their cap space is. So let's take a look. I'd like to give you an update on this stuff. So in case you missed it, here are the top 53 cap hits. So here's the 53-man roster. You know in the offseason it's the top 51. So it's just the salary cap hits. There's really no top. It's all the players that are on the 53-man roster. And you can see if the position is green, the name is in white, that is just a player that has been here. The new players, they have their position in white, so you can scroll on the left side of these. There's three different columns you can see. But you can see the newer players in the left column there, Huff and Barkley. You can see in the middle there, you know, all of the new players, and then on the right. But these are the 53 players on our active roster right now. These are their salary cap hits. And also, you have the additional charges we always talk about, but – you have the IR, and then, of course, the pup uh, is Sidney Brown. He'll be coming off that soon, so that'll move some things around. They'll have to get rid of somebody off the active roster. But $8.71 million uh, is there. James Bradbury, uh, you know, Albert O, some other guys there. Then you look at the practice squad. Uh, that's 4.14. That's around, you know, what's going on usually. So that's nothing out of the ordinary. But I know when people lose their mind is when they get to – this right here, the dead money. And look, man, uh, this team obviously knows what they're doing. Sal the salary cap is something Howie Roseman is pretty effing good at. So it, I know people write articles. They say all this stuff like, oh, we could have all this money. But this is how we get certain players. This is how we do certain things. So it is what it is. You know, I think that this team still has a pretty damn good roster. they still got some money to spend. And look, Hassan Reddick. 21 mil in dead money. You got Kelsey for 8 mil. Maddox, 7 mil for that old contract. Cox there for 4. Barnett, 4. Mariota, 3. 
fired 1.3. You got Hennessy, Burks, Zoma, Aquara, Campbell, and you know Burks' old contract is what's costing you. You got Paris Campbell there. Um, so it, there's a bunch of guys. There's like 20 some dudes. So uh, there, 57.3 mil in dead money, but 70.2 mil is what all of that combined with all of those cap hits you saw. So this is the Eagles' salary cap space here. That's eleven million four hundred forty-one thousand eight hundred and one dollars. And we talk about you know what you don't spend. It, it, if anything is left over in your salary cap space, it rolls over to the next year. So you could always just hold on to it. But if you feel you need an upgrade somewhere, and look, um, I feel we have a lot of youth. I hear a lot of people talking about certain positions and you know certain things that we need to do. The one position I talk about is edge because I want to see more Jalex Hunt. You've heard me talk about him since before the draft and a big fan, but maybe a premier guy because certain guys aren't stepping up. Bryce Huff, I'd like to believe in this system. Maybe he gets things down after the buy. That'd be great, but haven't seen anything yet. So that's a position we'll be talking about. I know there's other positions you guys are interested in. So I'll talk about all of the players that are out there being talked about. We'll talk about all these things that you need to know, but just know that the Eagles do have 11.4 mil in cap space and they've got 15 picks. So if they want to trade for somebody, Oh baby, you best believe they will do it. So that's all the information I got for you right now, but I will be back with that trade show. I'll be back for fan Friday. Hopefully you guys will be tuning in. You always have some great questions, topics. Um, I really, I'm looking forward to this fan Friday. I know people are upset, but we're going to get through this. We're going to get ready for the Browns next week. But uh, again, that's all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this bad boy, subscribe and join the family and also have yourself a damn great rest of your night. But uh, you need anything, reach out. I'm always here for you guys as you are for me. But until next time, I'm Jimmy Smith and this is On the Road to Victory. You all have a safe night, stay, or have a great night, stay safe out there, and as always, go birds!